What is up guys? We are back with another BIOS video and today we're taking a look at the BIOS on the ASUS Prime X570 Pro motherboard. Now, as I always say with these BIOS, you know, videos that we do, this BIOS should be pretty much the same across ASUS's entire line of X570 motherboards. You know, you will see different skins for say like ROG boards and some of the you know, settings and features might be a little bit different from board to board, but overall the settings should be pretty much the same. Now, when you load into the BIOS, you'll be into easy mode, and this gives, you know, you some real-time information. It allows you to change a few things before you go ahead and install Windows or load into Windows. So up here, we have our information on our board, the BIOS version, you know, our processor, the speed, and our memory. We also have DRAM status right here. Over here, we have our CPU temperature graph here in real time, our vCore, our motherboard temperature, and some storage information. We only have one drive uh, connected right now. Over here, we have easy system tuning, and this is gonna allow you to easily tune your system. So we have it by default set to normal, but you can actually go over and set it to optimal, and it's gonna set the optimal speed, or you know, if you can be able to achieve an easy overclock, it will go ahead and do that for you. Under boot priority, it will list all of your boot devices. Again, we only have one drive installed, but if we had multiple, we could easily drag and drop these uh, right here, which would be you know, kind of nice. It just makes it really easy to set your boot priority before you go ahead and install Windows. We have our CPU fan curve right here, and you can actually go into QFAN con control and set all of these. So in QFAN control, we have settings for each one of the headers on the board. And you know, you can set them to a default, like we have it set to standard, but you can do silent, turbo, full speed, or go into manual and set your own fan curve however you want it. Again, you can do that for all of the headers on the board. Over here, we have fan profile, which gives us, you know, all the fans that are running, what speed they're running and things like that. So maybe if you're having an issue with a fan, you can see how fast it's running and everything like that. And then we have our DOCP here, which is basically like XMP. Um, here you can easily enable or disable your XMP profile on your memory. So, you know, you can just hit profile one and hit okay. And there you go. And now our XMP profile is enabled. We don't have to go in and manually set anything in the, you know, as we get into the BIOS, you don't have to manually set anything. It just does it for you, which is really, really nice. Um, you know, you have uh, ASUS Aura. You can just turn these on or off really easily. You have a search up here. You have easy tuning wizard, which will, just like it says, it will boost up system performance. And then you can change the uh, language right here. So pretty basic easy mode, but I think it has everything that you need. Um, boot priority is of course important, and I think XMP or DOCP is very important. Uh, fans, not super important, but they're there as well. And you have all the information too, so if you're like looking to upgrade your BIOS or update your BIOS, you have the BIOS version there and everything like that. So let's go ahead and jump into advanced mode. You can either click down here or you can hit F7. And now we're in advanced mode. So in advanced mode, we have our main tab right here. And this is, again, gonna give you all of that important information and everything like that. You can go into security and set passwords and things like that if you needed to do that. Um, but that's all that's on the main screen. Now, before we get into all of these other tabs, let's go over here to my favorites. Now, you can add things into this favorites menu. So basically what it is, it's a, it's a menu that you create of all of your settings that you use the most. This makes it easier so you don't have to go through two or three screens to get to the settings that you want. They're all right here and you can easily add or uh, remove things from your My Favorites you know, tab here. Now, AI Tweaker, this is where you're gonna be doing all of your overclocking settings and things like that. Now, by default, you want to set this to DOCP so it just matches up with your memory. And if you're going to be running your system at stock, that's really all you have to do. So you go to auto or DOCP, that's what you're going to go ahead and do. Um, and then under DOCP, again, it will give you the different profiles that are on your memory you'll be able to select. Uh, performance enhancer, you should just set to auto. Memory frequency, again, we're running 3600 megahertz memory, so it's right there, but if you wanted to change it, you can go ahead and do that. FCLK, CPU ratio, TPU, 
performance BIOS and everything like that. Um, and then you have your stuff for precision boost overdrive. You can, you know, again, we have everything set to auto, but you can change all of these, you know, to the setting that you want for certain overclocking settings and things like that. Your DRAM timing control, again, if you're setting things or you're tightening up your timings or doing anything like that, you can go in here and set all of your timings and you can, you know, again, we have everything set to auto, but you can go ahead and set all these timings yourself. Uh, DigiPlus VRM, this allows you to set your load line calibration in different power control settings. So if you are overclocking, you know, you might want to change your load line calibration level and things like that. Um, and I would look online to see what the different levels are and how they, you know, how they control your CPU as far as power goes and things like that. So, but by default, everything's set to auto. Um, and then your voltages are down here as well. So you have all the voltages that you would want to change. They're all right here. Um, you can easily go ahead and change everything that you want. And that's pretty much it for AI Tweaker. Again, that's going to be where you're going to be doing all of your system tuning settings and things like that. Um, you know, if you're going to be overclocking or anything like that. Now, if we go over into advanced, this is pretty much everything else that's on the board. So we have our TPM stuff right here. CPU configuration, again, these are different things that, you know, have to do with your CPU. Like you can enable different, enable or disable different modes and different types of support and things like that. SATA configuration, again, you can go ahead and set this up. You can set up NVMe RAID. You can enable or disable the different SATA ports on the uh, board, everything like that. You can go ahead and set up there. Onboard devices, uh, this is things like your audio controller. You know, you can set the bandwidth for the, the second um, the second PCI Express X16 slot. It's by default by X8 mode. You know, you can change the LED lighting on the board and things like that. You can enable or disable the, the, uh, the LAN controller, everything like that. You can go ahead and set there. APM stuff is right here. PCI subsystem stuff, USB configuration, by default legacy USB support is on there. So if you are using an older USB, you know, mouse or keyboard, you shouldn't have a problem there. Things like that. Network stack configuration, HDD and SSD smart information. So you can see all the smart information for the drive you have installed. NVMe configuration, um, we don't have an NVMe device in here, but if we did, all of the different configurations for that, you will be able to change. And then you have CBS, which has to do, you know, with overclocking. And then you have AMD overclocking, which AMD puts this in here now or makes uh, manufacturers put this, you know, this warning in here that, you know, if you damage your CPU, it's not covered by manufacturer's warranty. So you always have to hit accept. And in here you can change different settings for like your SOC and, and your precision boost overdrive and stuff and things like that. If you really want to get into overclocking, but every time you do it, you have to hit accept uh, there. And that's all that's in advance under monitor. That's gonna, you know, give you all of the information that's going on in your system. So we have temperatures, we have, you know, fan speeds, we have uh, voltages, we have everything like that. So again, this allows you to see what's going on in real time. So if you are having some issues, you can see those values in real time. And then we have our Q fan configuration here. It's the same thing that we saw in the easy mode, but this is just the list of it. It's not graphical. Um, so you can go ahead and, you know, change things there and you, again, you can go into each fan like that. Under boot, uh, you can set up your boot configuration. You can enable or disable fast boots. You know, you can you can just change all of these settings in here. We have a compatibility support module, secure boot you can go ahead and set up. And then of course your boot option priorities right here. And again, you do have boot override in this menu. So I always talk about boot override because you know, you set the BIOS to boot to the flash drive. And then when, you know, you install windows and do the restart, it's going to want to boot to that flash drive. Again, you can boot override to the flash drive first, and then it, you know, it will go through your normal configuration. It just saves you a step. So I love seeing boot override. And then under tools, you have easy flash three, which allows you to flash your BIOS. 
you have asus user profile you can just look up your spd information for your memory there graphics card information you can see right here you know you can see what we're running right there um, and then the armory crate this allows you to update everything um, and you can set it to download and install the armory crate app like automatically so i think razor does this with their keyboard and my somehow you know if you install if you plug in a razor um mouse or keyboard it automatically downloads and installs the software um so they have this set up in the bios as well so armory crate allows you to update all of your drivers and software um and they have it by default downloading and installing which is great for for you know keeping your system up to date i highly recommend it um we'll probably at least put that in our review of this board um, and then finally under exits you have load optimized defaults i love seeing that as well because sometimes we just mess up uh, i mess up bio settings all of the time so load optimized defaults allows you to set everything back to the default of course you have your save changes discard changes and load efi uh, from usb drives and that is basically it i didn't talk about you still have your live hardware monitor over here that gives you all of your information and again all these settings that are up here they remain the same even if you go back and forth um, some of them change a little bit like you know q fan is up here and my favorites are up here on this menu they're not here right here but uh, you know you have a lot of the same things and you can see what the hotkeys are you know it's a good bios um it's not laggy or anything like that i haven't experienced any issues with it and the great thing about this bios is whether i'm in easy mode or advanced mode everything i need is like one or two clicks away it's not very far and if I really wanted to, I can even add more things to my favorites so that it would be one click away. Um, it's just a good BIOS. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. So until next time, catch you guys later.